uh, drilling, uh, turning. You guys have seen turning. You guys know what is drilling, okay? You, you, I, I, I believe most of you put a hole into the wall. It's the same thing, just different material. Okay, milling. We have tapping. Sawing. Okay, when you saw a piece of wood, okay, it's metal cutting and broaching. Okay, so all these are uh, metal cutting process. So I only will highlight. Uh, I only will highlight. Uh, if 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 time permits, okay. I will only will talk about uh turning and milling. Okay, if time permits, we'll go into milling. Okay, so let's look into turning. As as I said, you guys have seen turning briefly just now. Okay, but I I I will I will draw it out for you to see. So we're going to talk about uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is turning first. Okay, we're going to talk about turning. So this is our workpiece. So this is our, our work piece. Okay, so the work piece is the material that, 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 that we're working on. So over here, okay, so this is our U. That is our uh, uh, cutting speed, okay. And then, so the the workpiece is spinning. So if I were to draw our trans transformation x, y, and this is our z. Okay. So the the workpiece is just rotating. Okay, rotating about the uh, x axis. Okay. Then then we have a tool. Okay, so that is our our axis. So this is our cutting tool. And our cutting tool is having a linear motion. Okay, so this is a linear motion. And this motion controls the feet. Or in other words, you, if you go to industry, you 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 see the name feet, okay. But in three D, that is our undeformed chip thickness, right? Remember, we have this small t, right? That is our undeformed uh, chip thickness, okay. Then we have the distance from here to here. Or, 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 so the tool move in the linear motion in the x direction. Okay. The tool also move in a linear distance in the z. Okay. So it move both in the x and z direction. And the distance move from here to here. Okay. This distance move. Right, is known as our uh, depth of cut. Or sometimes we call it our width of cut. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it is, as I said, it's known as our depth of cut or uh, width of cut. Okay. So let's let's look at the cutting speed. So this this these are are, are are the three key features you can control your process parameter, which is your cutting speed, feed, and your undeformed chip thickness. Okay. So now the cutting speed. The cutting speed uh, range between okay, between zero point five to five meters per second. Okay, and it's controlled. by the strain rate sensitivity. Sounds familiar? Yes or no? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Seen that before, okay? And then the feet, that's what we're looking at, cutting speed. Okay, so if you have, you have material that are very insensitive to strain rate, go as fast as possible until you have no, or, or, or going very fast, you tend to have vibration, okay? Then go go up to where vibration will not occur, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. Then if we have feet, look at the feet, or undeformed, Chip thickness. Okay, so this over here, uh, what control is controlled? By the surface roughness. Okay, so the fit is controlled by the what surface roughness and Strain hardening behavior of the material. Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> right? So strain hardening behavior. Now you like this is this is your Johnson code what? A, B, and what? And N. Okay. And 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 sometimes later on we'll talk about this. Okay. When a material is strain hardening sensitive, sometimes you have to you have to uh, take off more material. Okay, so I don't know whether I have time to go through that or not. Okay, let's 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 wait and see. And then the depth of cut or width of cut, right? The depth or width of cut uh, is controlled. by the U strength of the material. Okay, so this is how the mechanical behavior detects what property you should use. Okay, so what I'm going to propose that uh, we go for a, a 15 minutes break and then we come back again. Okay, go for a 15 minutes break.